The video is tough to watch. A 13-pound dog picked up and carried away by a coyote, all caught on home surveillance. I was just sitting right in our, our great room on the couch, just waiting. Danielle Byrne let out her two dogs, Brody and Cece, early Sunday morning in Minden. I heard her scream. Once I heard that, I got up because I knew that wasn't normal for her. Less than a minute later. 50 seconds. Brody was gone. Cece! Brody. Danielle woke up her family. They searched the surrounding woods but could not find their dog. I was positive Brody was gone. I looked uh, at the video and clearly you could see something grabbed her. When he saw it, I just lost it. I mean, all my daughter and my son, we just all broke down. After four agonizing hours, the family's phone rang. Um, eight o'clock in the morning, we get a call and asking if we're missing our dog. And I said, yes, I think she's dead. I said she's two doors down on the back porch. We didn't know if she was going to be torn apart or I, I never thought she'd be alive. She was injured, cold and scared, but alive. Okay, she's got some puncture wounds on the neck, in the ear, one of the ears, and a couple on her belly. But she's on antibiotics, rabies shot, and uh, pain meds. The family thinks their in-ground, invisible fence helped save her. And I think what happened is it hit the fence line, and it must have zapped the coyote and dropped her. So she made it, and that's all, that's all we care about. Now, the family has lived in the area for years. They say they've never seen a coyote. Danielle does tell me, though, that her dogs will never go outside alone again.